This is a quick tutorial how to use a mobile joystick with the first person controller. Super TG005 asks, can you make a video about a joystick for mobile where I can rotate the camera from the first person character from the standard asset from Unity? So what he meant is um, he refers to an old video of mine where I showed you how you can use a mobile joystick and how you can use it in your game. And he wants a video on how to use it with a first person so controller. So if you combine these two, then you have a mobile input for first person controller game. So I loaded up this demo level and you should make sure that you have everything in place. So one thing is a virtual joystick pack. The link is in the description. This is an asset you get from the asset store. So the next thing are these two scripts. These are also in the description. You can download them and import them into your project. And the last one, um, there we go. Asset import package and characters because from the standard asset pack you need the characters folder. And there we are. So open the standard asset folder, go to characters, first person character, prefab, and then you have a rigid birdie first person controller. You can drop drag and drop this into your scene and right away you should be able to start your game and already control this first person controller. If it's not working, make sure that you have set PC to your default build setting. There are some things that I don't like in the first person controller as it comes with a package. The first one is that it locks the cursor. We don't need that for our case. And the next thing is advanced settings. Make sure you have the air controls so you can control the player in the air. So then you go to the next folder, virtual joystick pack, prefabs, and you have the fixed joystick. You can drag and drop it on a canvas. So we don't have a canvas right now, which means right click on the menu, UI, canvas, and then you can drag and drop this here. Set the canvas to scale with screen size, type in the full HD resolution and make sure everything is as you want to have it. So if we now start it, we already can control this, but it's still looking for the mouse. And if you have a look at your mobile device or load it on your mobile device, it's also a little bit different. So what we need to do is we have to go to the widget body first person controller and edit the script. So here we go. This is the script Unity just delivered for us. And we can just change everything we want in the script. Um, we can also reset it if we do something wrong. But we will start here in line 90 and add two new public variables or fields. One is the uh, one axis. It's a vector two. One axis, this will control our one. The other one is a public bool jump axis. So we don't want to see this in the um, editor. So we will hide this in the inspector. And now we have to change the script that it um, just listens to the one axis in except to the default input, which is used here. So the first thing is we get rid of this line where it just listens for the get mouse down button and we will input the jump axis here. And the next thing is here, get input. You see it's listening to the horizontal and vertical axis. We will change this by one axis X. And one axis Y. So now we decoupled uh, the script from the actual input. Um, we have a jump, we have forward, backward, left, right. And now we have to change the look as well, but it's not in this script, it's in the mouse look. You can see it here. 
with with uh, control and the left mouse bus button you can directly go to it and here we will do the same trick <clears throat> we will make a hidden public variable vector 2d and we will call the field look axis So here you can see it's um, actually listening for the mouse or looking for the mouse events and we will change it to our vector. Let's go back in the game and hit play. And as you can see I can click, drag and drop and nothing is happening. So it's not listening to the mouse anymore because it should l listen to this one. So um, in the canvas we will copy the handle of a fixed joystick and we will move this handle to the left side. Maybe we will change the anchor to the bottom left. Move it a little bit up, a little bit wide and there we go. Now we can add the fixed button script we just downloaded. And the last thing we add to our canvas is a panel. We will uh, modify the left value of the panel. So this is the area where we can drag our pointers and we will modify the camera. Uh, the user shouldn't see it. So we will make this completely transparent. So this button is in front of the panel, so we should make sure that the handle is on the very button. The panel itself gets uh, the fixed touch field, which we also downloaded. And then we are ready to go to make our own script. We have to add a component here. Uh, we call it whatever we want. I call it my script as always. We will drag this directly on widget body FPS controller and then we can edit the script. So we need three things here. The first one is of course the fix joystick. This is a move joystick. Then we need the fixed button, which is a jump button. And we need the fixed touch field, which will be the touch field. So then on update, we need the FPS. So get component. So widget body first person controller. We will have to add a using statement here for characters first person and then we have the component. So we have enhanced the component. Now we should find our things we just added. Uh, one thing was the one axis and we will equal this to the move joystick. Just set it to the input vector. So we will run with this, um, with this controller. The next thing is the jump axis and this is the jump button pressed. And the last thing is the mouse look and the look axis and this is our touch field, touch distance. So now we have all our controls. We have linked this to the first person controller and let's see if it works. Oh, we have a null reference exception. The reason for this is, of course, we created our script, but we didn't drag and drop anything, any script or component to our values here. So we may have to make sure that the fixed joystick goes to the uh, move joystick. The panel is a touch field and the handle we copied is a jump button. Let's try this again. And as you can see, I'm almost already uh, able to move. 
I'm able to jump. And I can drag this thing around. So this is very fast. So one thing I would like to change is the sensitivity on the mouse look. As we only changed a small portion of the script, most of the things here are still working. And this is one of them. So we can change the sensitivity uh, to 0 0.2. And now I can finally look a little bit around, walk around, and jump. And that's it. You can add more buttons. Um, and if you like the video, leave a like, um, subscribe. If you want to see more of this, if you have specific questions, please leave them in the comment. I will answer uh, as soon as I can. And I will make a video out of some of your questions.